human beings begins his life as a baby then he starts to grow and gets to know the world around him then is admitted to school and starts making new friends after a lag of 15 to 20 years he becomes a graduate and starts looking for new employment opportunities thus his life as a student ends and his professional life begins then after working for many years a man enters his middle age then he gets married and has his own family thus when a man becomes an adult his responsibilities rises and finally a man grows old and he becomes weak due to aging thus finally a man dies and his life comes to an end now similar to the lifespan of a human being a river also has a lifespan let us read about it the journey or the lifespan of a river begins with a small trickle then many trickles connect together to form a small stream the stream further grows in size and flows downhill now just like a small kid the river at this stage is very young and energetic here the river begins to wash away the soil and erode the exposed rocks now as the river flows downhill some of the pebbles and boulders are also carried by the river now as the river flows down the valley it becomes more powerful this is where new tributaries join with the river and the size of the river grows in other words the river welcomes new members in his family thus we can say that the load of the river also rises now finally the river becomes old and it becomes less powerful and here the river begins to deposit boulders and pebbles along both the sides of its banks finally the river joins a larger water body that is a sea and ocean and this is where the journey of a river ends so just now with the help of a video we saw the entire course or the entire journey of a river now just as a human being has three different stages in his life that is youth middle age and old age a river also has three different stages the first stage of the river is upper course at this stage a river is born or it originates now as you can see in the picture a river begins or originates in the mountain see a river originates in the mountains and it flows swiftly downhill here in the upper course of the river vertical erosion is very common or dominant now what is the meaning of vertical erosion vertical erosion means that the river erodes the bank of its river so the depth or the vertical height of the river increases so in the picture this part is the upper course of a river now see in the picture the river leaves the mountains and enters plains so here we come to the next stage of the river the next or the second stage of the river is the middle course here the river leaves the mountains and enters plains also in this stage the volume of the river rises why so because here new tributaries joins or connects with the river as you can see in the picture as a result the volume or the size of the river increases now in the second stage or in the middle course lateral erosion is dominant now what is the meaning of lateral erosion lateral erosion means that the river erodes both the sides of its banks as a result the size of the river increases so in the picture this part represents the middle course of a river now finally the river enters its last stage and the last stage of the river is called the lower course of the river here the river further flows down the plains and the speed of the river decreases and also the river becomes less powerful as a result instead of erosion the river starts the process of deposition 
that is the river begins to deposit rock particles and other debris along both the sides of its banks and finally the river joins a sea and ocean that is a larger water body and this is where the journey of a river ends so lower course is the stage of a river where the journey of a river ends as it joins a larger water body and also in this stage deposition is common the journey of a river can be divided into three different stages upper course middle course and lower course upper course is the stage where a river begins or originates middle course is the stage where the river leaves the mountains and enters plains and also the volume of the river increases in this stage and finally we come to the lower stage of the river where the journey of a river ends as it connects with a larger water body say a sea or an ocean now as a river continues with its journey it performs several actions like erosion transportation deposition etc so now let us study about these different actions of a river have you ever used sandpaper well sandpapers are mostly used by carpenters to clean or polish the surface of wooden objects or to smoothen the wooden objects now the surface of a sandpaper is rough or it has small grains so when you rub this rough surface on a wooden object the object is worn out now similar to the sandpaper effect the rivers also denude the landforms in this way let us look at it the pebbles and boulders carried by the rivers attack the rock surface as a result the surface of the rocks gets scratched or polished do you know what is this process called this process which involves scratching or polishing of the rock surface by the particles present in the rivers that is boulders or pebbles etc carried by the rivers are called abrasion and what is the outcome of this process the outcome of this process is that the surface of the rocks that is river banks or river beds gets scratched so now can you answer this question what is abrasion is it scratching of rock surface by eroded particles or breaking down of rocks into smaller particles or chemical decomposition of rocks or mixing up of rock particles in water well the correct answer is abrasion is the process of scratching of rock surface by eroded particles carried by rivers so this option is the correct one so now let's continue with our lesson see the rock particles carried by the river that is stone and pebbles not only scratch the surface of the rocks but they also knock against each other as a result the size of this eroded particles reduces this process is called attrition so attrition is the process of breaking down or wear and tear of rocks and pebbles present in rivers and what is the result of this process the result of this process is that the size of the eroded particles reduces and why does this happen this happen because the rock particles hit against or knock against one another now not only the rocks and pebbles present in the river attack the surface of the rock but the rock surface also gets corroded due to smashing effect of the river so when a river attacks the rock surface very forcefully then cracks develop on the rock surface and the rock break off along those cracks and the eroded rock particles are then washed away or carried away by rivers and this process is called hydraulic action 
so hydraulic action is the process whereby the force of water wears away the rocks and carries off the broken rock particles so in this video we can see that due to forceful action of the river cracks develop on the surface of the rocks and this process is known as hydraulic action now not only the river breaks the rocks but also some of the minerals present in the rock gets dissolved in river as a result holes or grooves develop on the rock surface do you know what is this process called this process in which certain types of rocks and minerals get dissolved in water is called solution and what is the outcome of this process the outcome of this process is that holes or grooves develop on the rocks surface so in today's video we initially read about the entire journey of a river we read that the journey of a river can be divided into three stages upper course middle course and lower course in the upper course a river originates in the mountains in the middle course a river leaves the mountains and enter plains here the volume of the river increases and finally in the lower course the journey of a river ends as it meets a sea or an ocean and then we read about different erosional processes of a river that is abrasion attrition hydraulic action and solution now as a river performs all these different actions different types of landforms are also formed by river at, at its different stages so in our next video we will learn about different kinds of landforms formed by a river don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now